Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to have a look at this new to me planar thicknesser. It's a Sigma. I thought that was uh, camera stuff, but apparently it's a Sigma. As far as I know, it's Italian made. It has these uh, foldable, fold away cast uh, iron uh, lens. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a pretty big job. And uh, there's lots of exciting stuff gonna happen with this. I've never seen one before, but it jumped up and I I really needed one that had quite a big capacity that was very stable, so this is what I went for. Yeah, there's gonna be a full restoration of it. It's gonna be beautiful and shining by the end of it, I hope. But today we're gonna tackle the lens, um, the iron, the cast iron tops. Uh, yeah. It's already taken apart a bit. The engine or the motor is not, the electric motor is not working. So I'm gonna have a new one of those coming. But besides that, I think the, the machine is in good shape. It's fairly level and, and straight as you want it. It has no bow or twist. So that's a major plus. So basically what we're gonna do is put a new electric engine in it and then add a bit of a, a stop function so that we have an emergency stop at the machine. Yeah, I think it's mainly gonna be cosmetic stuff. By the end of it, we should have a super capable, really sturdy machine. I was thinking about adding some wheels to it. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. My shop is very small, and I was thinking about adding some of these to it so that I can roll it around. It's super heavy. It's a struggle getting it in here. Today we'll tackle these. I will get the top in shape. We'll get them painted, I think. Um, the, the old paint is super well stuck on there. So I think we'll just flatten it down and then paint on top of the other old paint. It's gonna be black, I think. We're gonna take this off. It has, it's bolted on with two bolts. It bolts into the cast iron table. Like so. this brass shim under it. I guess it's to have the right angle. So we're gonna hit it with a YouTuber influencer special sandpaper. Um, no, jokes aside, this is actually quite good. Um, but we'll see how to do on metal here. <laughs> this made a massive difference to the looks. Maybe 40 on this just to help getting the dirt off. Alright, so I'm not fully satisfied with this. I think the next thing we're gonna try is gonna use some polish. Um to combine with the Scotch Bright, I think will will work wonders. This is just a metal polish. And then I think we just rub it in a bit like this. Get this bad boy on it. Alright, so we've done the whole thing with the polish and the sanding and everything, so we'll wipe this off. It will be quite hard to wipe off. Alrighty, so I think all that's left on this side is um, getting some machine wax on it, some protective cover for it, and then I think uh, it's all good. We need to get it painted and stuff, but um, I'll do a comparison side to side here. Alright, so you can see here, 
this is how it used to look and this is how it looks now so I think I can narrow it down to this first I hit it with the with the sandpaper with the 80 grid uh, just to uh, shine up the surface again and and uh, get it all nice and smooth and even and then I hit it with the VD40 on the scotch right to get it a bit more get all that dirt out get get the surface more uniform and then I finish off with a polish on the on the scotch right on a surface like like this that would be more critical uh, to go with a soft pad on the polish I think for me on these riches you are not going to tell the difference anyway so yeah happy with this it looks neat I think I just hit it with some machine wax and then it's it's superb Take this uh, bad boy up. Perfect. So I've just taken this piece of oak and the uh, cuber. Cubertron, Cuber, Cuber, something <laughs> wrapped around the stick, and I think I'm just gonna use this to flatten the sides down a bit up where the edges are straight. First, though, we have to remove these two bolts. Make sure the handle is is locked underneath, because these are the only two bolts holding the table so when this goes out the table will be loose alright so I managed to get it onto the other side and the MDF is very solidly here the table is very solid what we're gonna do now is uh, remove this guy and then we'll probably remove this guy
We'll, we'll take this out in the next one, it's send it down, polish it, paint it, um, have a look at all the small parts and the handles and stuff. This is the part we're finished with already. As you can see, it's super nice, really shiny, really nice. And yeah, it sits on this little rail here and then the, the handle closes in underneath it. And then the spindle is going to be here, the cutting head. Yeah, next time we'll have a look at the big, big chassis, put it all together. This will conclude part one. It's been a lot of paintings in this one. Uh, there's still one uh, part that we need to flatten and sand and polish, uh, which is the sensor part that goes up and down. But uh, yeah, I think we'll do that in the next one.